Hi, I'm Trev. I work for Rock and Sun. Uh, we're down here on the coast looking at a few sea cliff climbing uh, techniques and trying to look how we can make them a little bit safer. So what we're going to do in the next couple of weeks is show you several techniques and how we can just get them a little bit safer when we're operating in a sea cliff environment. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing now is looking at abseiling. Okay, so I've uh, pre-rigged this abseil uh, close to the ground so that it's easier to demonstrate the techniques. So the first thing I'm going to do is attach myself to the abseil rope via a prussic loop. So what I'm going to do is put that on first and I'm going to use a French prussic, which is wrapping the prussic loop around the rope. Uh, get the knot out of the way first and then I'm going to wrap around the rope trying to keep it nice and neat. So probably going to go around four or five times. And then I'm going to clip a screw gate into both ends of the loop. Okay, and then I can check that it's biting before I clip it into my harness. And I'll fit that into the central belay loop. And the reason we're using a French prussic is because we want it to bite, but also slide down the rope when we're abseiling. So now I can pull some rope through. So if I've got lots of rope down the bottom of the cliff and it's heavy, this will hold the rope in place while I put my belay device on. So I'm going to use a short sling. It's going to double that up and clip my belay device. So I'm going to use the abseil into the rope as well. So just take the rope, pop that in. Lock the gate. So the reason we're using the prussic loop in conjunction with the, the belay device or the abseil device is that several things can occur as you're abseiling down. One of them would be that you could dislodge some rock on the abseil rope or with your feet on the way down. That might subsequently hit you, which might mean that you are no longer able to keep hold of the rope. Um, you could also um, just, your feet could slip and your hands could then bash against the rock and causing you to let go of the rope. There are a number of reasons why you may let go of the, the, the rope that you're using to, to control your descent. And then what the prussic loop will do will, is bite the rope and act as your hand by pulling back on the rope and locking off the belay device. So the important things about this is that having the, the prussic loop there, when you release it, what you're going to do is you're going to hit it with your hand to release it. And that, then it will slide down the rope as you descend. So it's crucially important that when you test the prussic loop, you can see that you don't want it to reach the uh, abseil device. Otherwise, the abseil device will do the job of your hand and release the prussic off of the rope, and then it will not lock. Okay, so it's important to always test that the prussic loop is biting, you know, while you're still holding onto the rope below it, rather than just letting go with both hands, just in case it does slip. Okay, and and there we go. So there you go. That's how to rig up a, an abseil safely or descend an abseil rope safely. Uh, we've been here all weekend um, running a rescue course with DMM um, and we'll be showing you how to uh, Jumar safely or Prusik safely up a rope uh, on a future program.